In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Maya 2015. My 2015 is filled with a lot of little improvements as well as some really big improvements. Overall, this has been a really great upgrade. To start, one of the things that they've done here is altered the manipulator that we've had. And now we have these outside plane handles that allows us to move objects along a specific plane. We can alter those plane handles by going into our preferences and choosing manipulators. And we can change that offset or we can turn the plane handles off completely if we just find those distracting. Another fun addition that they've added here is a new walk tool. And I'm just gonna move my camera back here and kind of show how this works. This is to simulate more of a game type environment from within inside the Maya interface. And what we can do here is choose Alt X, and you can see that we get the walk tool, and it even tells us down at the bottom there exactly how to control it. If I left click and drag, we can then move around just as we would if we were a game character. And if I hit W, we'll go forward, and then we can kind of move and navigate through an environment. And this is actually pretty useful because a lot of times it's very difficult when building a complex environment to move the camera exactly where you need it to. And this way, this will simulate as if you were in game and actually playing a game, and then you can see what the player is actually gonna see before you publish your game. To back out of that tool, we just hit escape. And then our polygon tools have gotten a pretty big refresh here as well. And if I just choose one of these menus, the menus have been reorganized. So now we can find things a little bit easier. So instead of just having a long list of tools, we're now kind of broken out into topics. And then under those topics, you can find what you're looking for. Some of the polygon tools themselves have been reworked a little bit. We have some new algorithms being used for the bevel tool and some great updates to the multi-cut tool. Some of the more advanced features that have been added have been XGen, which is a very powerful system for creating hair and fur, as well as for populating environments. And you can populate environments with any model that you build. So it's very easy to place a thousand rocks or 10,000 trees into an environment. We also have Bifrost, this menu here, and there's XGen up there as well. Bifrost, is a powerful new procedural engine for simulating liquid effects. More of an advanced tool, but can create some really amazing open water or even large volumes of water, getting splash effects, getting things to pour very realistically. Another thing that has happened here is that Viewport 2.0, which is our viewport renderer, that has now been made the default renderer. And you can see that right there. So now everything in our viewport is gonna look a little bit better as viewport 2.0 supports a lot of the more advanced shading and lighting features. Maya 2015 also comes with the latest version of Mental Ray that's a third party renderer and some great upgrades there have been progressive rendering as well as improved image-based lighting.